Hi my Leos, my beautiful Leos. This is our love and relationship reading for the week of January 25th through the 31st. Our love scope, our love ship reading. What's the energies are going on for my Leos? Just a quick reminder, if you like uh, pick a card readings, check out my other channel at RZ Oracles. Let's see what's going on for my Leos. Oh, we've got ooh, a four of swords. A four of swords. Did y'all see that? Four of swords. Mm. Rest, recuperation, healing, recovery, clarity. A lot of times four of swords is our mind quieting down so that we can get clear directions and a plan, those steps going forward. We know exactly what to do. And our next one, we've got a page of wands. Page of wands, the fire energies. Mm. Take, mm, getting steady, grounded. Wow, getting ready to take some new direction with that page. Got a queen of cups. Cancer energy coming through. Queen of cups. Oh. Keep going here. We've got healing, recovery. Mm, mm, okay, hold on. Oh, six of swords moving away from the drama, the storms into calmer, peaceful times. Sometimes this card can indicate actual physical getting up, moving, traveling, going somewhere. So, yeah. Mm, mm, I like that. Moving away, healing, recovery. Uh -huh. Clarity. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And we've got, oh, let's hold this because I had a jumper. Now, hold on, I gotta pick it up. I gotta pick it up. We've got two jumpers. Wow, okay. That gone. Oh, mm -mm -mm -mm. Let's look at this. <sighs> look at these jumpers. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm making a lot of noise. Mm, top one was the Three of Swords, Heartache, and then. Boom, Leo, strength, our card. Ow, right under that page of wands. Oh my goodness, moving away from some heartache, feeling on top of game, confident, like things are finally starting to work for us rather than against us. Ow, then we have that three of pentacles, laying the groundwork, the plan, we've got our plan and know how we want to move forward. That Queen of Cups energy is bringing it down to uh, <clears throat> the Cancer energy, your foundation. What's supporting you in your life? Ow, a lot, this is insinuating that we are really getting serious. Inspired and motivated, feeling confident to come away from the things that have not been supporting us. Uh, and the people that have not been supporting us. Uh... And we're laying new, a new blueprint of going forward. Hmm. Coming away from the heartache, the drama, the cray cray stuff that goes on. Let's go to our next round. Um, we're going to go on top of each card. See if we can get clarification on some of these. Or just whatever your higher self wants to bring out. See what's coming in on four swords. We're getting two. We're going to take them. We've got a victory feeling like we've made progress. Ow. Over that three of swords. Yeah. Feeling good. Like we have uh, conquered our emotions. <clears throat> that we are. We know what we need to do to heal that broken heart. Come away from the drama. So we're definitely moving out of drama. Drama, drama, drama. Hmm. Stressful situation. Let's see what's coming in on that uh, page of wands. That new uh, fire, dedication, determination. Mm, but we're, I'm, I'm keep picking up a sense of we're taking, we're going slow at it. We're being practical about it. Four of Pentacles. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. We're, we're. It's how do I put this? We're being sensible. Uh, we're holding on to what is precious to us. We're starting to focus more on what we need to do to take care of ourselves and how to take care of ourselves. Oh, I like that. 
more protective of our heart, but not only our heart, <laughs> everything that is precious to us. Let's see what's coming in on that Queen of Cups, that Cancer energy, that home, that foundation. What's going to make us feel peaceful at home, safe, like we've got a sanctuary away from the world? How this can be, you know, a longing for a physical place, but I'll say an environment and people that bring that kind of energy to us. Ow! We got our direction. We got the cancer energy. Mm -hmm. Feeling empowered. Um, everything, like I said, with our strength card, our Leo card, everything we thought that was impossible this this week feels possible. And we're feeling very confident in taking the actions and moving forward. Strong, powerful card. A lot of times that chariot card is about being a warrior. It's about going through that battlefield with confidence, knowing exactly you're going to come out on the other side, and it's going to be better for you. Let's see what's coming in on that Six of Swords. We have the Magician. Absolutely. We are uh, using every talent, skill, everything we know to move ourselves out of that stormy time, away from that heartache, from the heartbreak, from the drama. We are working it, working our magic. That magician shows us ready, feeling confident, and able to create, manifest, do what we need to do to lay the blueprint, that groundwork, and start moving forward. Let's see what's coming in on that second three of swords in our Leo card, our strength. We got temperance. So this week, your higher self is telling you to take your time, have confidence, and know that whatever the new plans are that you're making, and it may actually be getting that, moving yourself the fact we got the chariot and the six of swords, it may actually be you physically moving away from something, leaving something behind or someone behind. Your uh, higher self telling you with this temperance card is don't lose your confidence uh, and know that the universe is working with you, for you, and help to guide you and get those opposing things, those challenges, to work in your favor rather than against you. Let's see what's coming on that three of pentacles. That blueprint, that blueprint, where are we going? Ow, we are more into centering ourselves and ready to stand up and defend what's precious to us. Mm -hmm. That can be on the <clears throat> physical level, I uh, think all the way around, <laughs> mind, body, spirit, soul, physical things, but everything. Your mental, emotional health is becoming important to you and what you truly desire and you're ready to defend it. You're ready to defend it this week. My Leos, we're standing in bold courageousness, feeling more confident, but turning some love and concern and support to ourself rather than giving that out to everyone else. Mm. Let's do, let's get some clarification. I want to see on this magician, the six of sword and that chariot. Let's get uh, anything our higher self wants to bring through on that. Oh, we're releasing ourselves. We're un unrestricting ourselves, but at the same time, we are also coming into a restrictive mode of where we're not allowing the outer influences that have brought us to the way we feel right now, the way we feel like we need to defend ourselves. We're not allowing that to uh, uh, sway us off our course, off our path. Mm, I like that freeing ourselves, but at the same time, getting a determination to stay on course of what it is we truly want to move towards. Mm. And know that temperance card, that's your higher self, your God, the divine telling you, you're being guided, they're working with you, you're making a good choice, you're laying a good plan for yourself, keep going. Four of Wands, oh, that's your higher self telling you that you have that support, not only in the spirit realm, in the heaven heaven realms, but other people, be open to other people coming in, friends family, your tribe, drawn in your spirit tribe that's willing to uh, support you and help move you forward and to be happy with you as you move into that new direction. 
Is there anything else, anything else? We are being supported all the way around heaven and on the physical realm. There will be people that are willing to help to help us, support us, uh, encourage us, to inspire us. I think we got one here. Seven of Pentacles. Seven of Pentacles is your higher self telling you to start nurturing what it is you're wanting to grow into the future. Mm -hmm. Don't force things. Don't try to rush things. To be patient, trust, and have faith that you're moving in the right direction, going in the right direction. So, oh, we're moving away from heartache. We're not really pinpointing. Is is what the heartache you're moving away from a certain person? Because we have recovery, healing. A lot of times this card will show up when we are jumping back on the wagon, if you get my meaning, of uh, sobriety and stuff. And trying to heal and get the clarity and coming away from the heartache. i got a feeling we're moving away from uh, an influence in our life, relationship with someone or someone's, plural, Coming away from the bad influences. Mm -hmm. Getting the victory and feeling powerful and strong about it. And just know, we're being, like I said, <clears throat> major important is to know we're being supported by our higher self, our guides, all the way around, all the way around. I'm going to go ahead and pull a Lover's Oracles. <clears throat> Even though we didn't, I can't pinpoint for sure where... Uh, relationship because my Leo seems to be in self-care self-love mode this week but we're going to see if we can get a card three I'm seeing the light the light rays let's pull that one a message for you I'm thinking of you this very moment your love fills me with light I love you I love you is that you telling that to yourself or is there someone else out there telling you that mm-hmm Let's get one more. One more for my Leos. One more for my Leos. Hmm, what am I feeling here? I'm feeling so many. Oh, I like that one. That heart just popped. The color on it is like, pull me. Close your eyes and tell yourself that you deserve to feel joyful. You can allow joy into your life regardless of the circumstances you currently find yourself in. Oh, bam. I like that one. Self-love. Self-love. Doing what you need to do. Looking to your future. Mm -hmm. Getting that clarity. But being bold and courageous. And like I said, my Leos, this is your week to be open to spirit. Um, send, putting people in your path that will actually support you, motivate you, inspire you, help you feel more grounded and better about the choices you're making. We are going to do messages from spirit instead of messages from your person because I got a sense we're wanting to not hear a message from anyone right now. We're wanting to hear ourselves. So, first one, your heart is expanding. Your heart is expanding. You, know, you are loved by your higher self and your God's Yes, you are. And loved by many, many people that are wanting to support you this week. And out into your future. Next one, surrender. Surrender. Mm -hmm. Let's go for one more here. Here we go. Oh, God, my Leos. Nurture yourself. Nurture yourself. Absolutely. This is your way to love yourself, support yourself, defend yourself, love yourself, nurture yourself. Okay, guys, that's all I have for us. I want to send you healing, love, and light always. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. I hope I'll see you again next week. Bless be.